All right, guys, I'm going to show you real quick how I do sweet effects editing. Um, this might be helpful for people who want to do their own sweet effects filters. Um, just know that this does conflict with ENB filters, and people have been telling me that they crash when they mix my vibrant sweet effects with uh, an, a crystal clear ENB or any of the other ENB files. So don't mix and match them. Use one or the other. And since I use sweet effects, I'm going to show you how I edit sweet effects. So I have the game open here with a nice little shot of a of very, very sad curry. And I'm going to go ahead and load up my 2K14 folder where I already have Sweet Effects installed. As you can see, I already have a filter definitely in this game. This is not how the vanilla game works, looks. But if you go down to Sweet FX, you can see the settings file. Go ahead and press copy paste to back up my current settings. Open this up. And this is how the settings file uh, is. And it's very basic and very easy to understand and go through. Um, you want to use anti-aliasing uh, SMMA? Go ahead and just turn this on or off. And just read through all these different things. And it's just really kind of basic. So just to show you real quick, let's turn uh, monochrome on, which will just make it a black and white screen. So we change the 0 to a 1. Control S to save. Click over. And nothing's happened yet. What you have to do is hit the break button or the pause button. And where this is on my keyboard is next to scroll lock and print screen. So if you have the the uh, arrow keys and then above it you have insert home, page up, page down, end and delete. Above that is pause and break. If I go ahead and hit that, it updates and uh, applies that filter to the game. So I don't like that very much. That, that, that stinks. So let's go ahead and turn that back off. And let's turn off HDR because I have a feeling that that's what's causing a lot of my uh, brightness that you can see in Jury's or Curry's uniform. So we'll save it again, click over to the game, press pause, break, ta-da. And if we want to see exactly what that HDR does, we can turn it back on, save, click over again, pause, break. And that's what the effect does. So let's go ahead and turn HDR off because that's causing some issues. Um, we'll turn, we'll keep Bloom off. I think the vibrance, it's a little bit too vibrant, you know what I mean? We're going to turn that down a little bit, so use vibrance. Now if you go scroll down further, you get all the settings for all these different uh, things. And you can change them as you want to. So I have defined vibrance. This uh, saturates or uh, doesn't. Um, you can also do RGB balance. So um, it goes up and it has all the minimum and maximums right here after the uh, slashes, which is just beautiful. I love this. So let's say, let's just change this from 05 to 50. And break. Yeah, that, that's a, that's a little too unsaturated. Okay, let's, let's go ahead and uh, put that back. Save it. Um, let's make things a little bit more blue. So R, G, B, and we'll just put this up to ten. Save. Pause. Break. Yeah. <laughs> um. Okay. Let's change it to. Let's change it back to one. Let's just keep everything the same. Um, this is if you want to just change the vibrance around per uh, value. So if you want to th make things more blue, you can do that or not, whatever you want to do. Um, let's change, actually, you know, just for, let's change these up to 10. So R and G. For the red and green. Break. Blech. Blech. Ugh. <laughs> we'll go ahead and change that off. Let's turn the vibrance up. Let's get rid of the negative. Let's make it 1.05. Let's break. Yeah. <laughs> but this is this is what you do. This is all you do. And you can have uh, the different curves and sepia settings and all of these settings. And just to update it, you just run the game in windowed mode, press pause, break, and it updates. That's it. It's really nice, simple, and easy. And it just makes editing these things that much easier. So uh, that's basically it. I, I hope to see a lot of people use SweetFX. If not, use UN, use ENB, but, you know, I've kind of moved away from it, so don't expect it from me. <laughs> but I hope this helps, and I will see you guys in the next video.